Hey everyone, this is Retro Challenge Gamer, and it has been a long time since I've done a Mega Man game, fan game or not. So we're going to sit here and watch through the story here, but uh, yeah, I'm late to the party on this particular fan game. So the game in question is Mega Man Rock and Roll, and it was uh, released, I think, last year? I, I'm not entirely sure. 2020, right as COVID hit? So it was kind of a... Uh, an awesome little uh, game that came out that uh, just at the right time for people who needed stuff to do with the computer. But it's been a while since this game has been out, and I've heard a lot of praise about it. I watched, I think, YouTube video of at least the intro stage and such, and I was just like, okay, and I've heard, you know, this is probably something I want to play in the future, but I just didn't have the time or uh, resources, you know, in, in, in my current life. To, to do recording for a while as you've noticed uh, there's been a dearth of uh, activity on my channel but that's going to change so here's the startup screen Mega Man rock and roll and the biggest thing here is of course you can play as roll now the challenge I'm gonna do is of course my usual blind buster only no uh, no death run no death per level Ooh, boss mode and time attack yeah we're not gonna deal with that and I'm gonna try and play as Mega Man as best as I can and roll when they force me to. All right. Feels pretty good for the most part. I've played a little bit of this intro stage level up until I think you switch to roll and then that's where pretty much the blind portion of the run comes in. Yeah, these guys are kind of annoying. You shoot them and that's when they hop. And that's kind of annoying. It's very hard to gauge their uh, trajectory when they hop. And these sorts of barriers, it's kind of like a learning point that you can charge up your buster. You have a you have a mega buster that you can charge up now, but we're not going to use it past that point. It's just normal pellet shots for most of this run, as most of my blind buster only runs will do, or no death runs. And oh no, they're stealing all the Marva Masters, Skullman, Fireman, uh, Vesper Woman, which I've not actually heard. Maybe I'm not too keen spun up on my Mega Man lore, but I don't know who she is, but I guess a lot of people do know who she is. So there's that, I guess. This guy is tricky, because you have to activate him so he can fire, but, you know, you're in the middle of a pit. You'll, oh, and Dagger Man of all Robot Masters. Dagger Man from uh, Super Fighting Robot got a guest appearance here, which is very interesting. Big guy is as annoying and damaging as ever. And this is where I stopped. This is where I stopped testing, uh, seeing if I could record it, if I, you know how the play controls worked. I didn't want to get any further than this, but uh, yeah, Proto is stolen, <laughs> and apparently so is Mega Man. And now Roll is left defenseless. She has no way of fighting back. She was never built to be a uh, fighting robot. She was built to be a maid, <laughs> pretty much. Oh look, Tango's on the machine, as cats usually do, and sleeping. But she's uh, wanting to help her brother. And that's pretty cool. So she makes a huge decision here. And that is to become a super fighting robot herself. Of course, Dr. Light is very much shocked at this, because he never intended this function or feature for her. He, he never wanted her to be a battle bot, but uh, he understands the gravity of the situation. So he's going to flip the switch and change her into a fighting robot. Good old callback to, I think, what was it, Mega Man 4 uh, intro? Changing Mega Man to a fighting robot, same kind of graphical exoskeleton they see, you see there. Dr. Light hopes he did the right thing. Honestly, the right thing would have not been create these robots at all. You know, the history and lore and... Okay, so she's just like Mega Man, pretty much, and... What the heck? Uh, oh! And, and we have a double jump! That's right! I do remember I do remember that. Awesome. She actually has a double jump. I remember seeing that now in the intro movie I watched about a year ago. I had completely forgot about that. 
<laughs> wow, those guys are kind of fast. All right, so we're gonna be go, go, not going into the boss door. Oh, oh, oh! Here's the pods for all the four that got stolen, and they're being whisked away to Lord knows where. Let's see if I can double jump here. Totally failed it. <laughs> my, my assumption is that you're supposed to get across that without alerting everything. But that, that, oh gosh, that's not working. Oh no, there's Proto Man. Is he gonna get sent off to wherever? No. Oh, go somewhere else. Alright then. Okay, there was no way around this guy, I don't think. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Forget you, I'm out of here, but sucker. Okay. So all these boss doors are not actually boss doors. Oh! Oh no, it's Mega Man. He's gonna get shipped off. Wow, these guys are... kind of like a modified form of a shield attacker, but they're smaller? Mini shield attackers? Oh hey, the lock is broke. Nice. Roll did it. And I am back as Mega Man now. Alright. Okay. The controls are... Uh, I wouldn't call them stiff. But uh, they are a little... I wouldn't say loose either. <laughs> they're, they're different. Maybe it's because I'm cutting, coming hot off of previous fan games which have the play control down pat that this feels uh, slightly weird. How Mega Man moves and such is, I guess, what I'm trying to say here. Ooh, and that is quite the knockback when you get hit. That could be a problem. Oh, God. Uh, whew, Jimmy Christmas, I hated that jump. I'm still not used to these physics in this, the, the way this play controls. Uh, underwater jump looked very scary to me. Oh, hey, Octo Batteries, what's up? Oh, okay. I guess that's it. That was the intro stage. Hey, we did it. But the city's getting blown up, so our job's not done. Let's go. <laughs> so whatever rose out of the sea is sinking back down into it. Along with all of our friends. Okay, we this okay, this is the stage select screen. You can go back and forth between rock and roll. Nice. So you can switch back and forth between them. But I think we're gonna stay as rock though for as much as we can. Oh, Dune Woman. Okay. We're the control robot. Desert Palace. Cool. G Drake Man, Geological Survey Robot, Active Volcano. Polar Woman, Sea Ice Ops Preservation Robot, North Pole. Cool, cool. Missile Man, Metallic Defense Robot, Stage Missile Base. Uh, uh, Ghost, ooh, that sounds woman. Uh, Ghost Woman, Event Management Robot, Old Castle. She sounds interesting. Reactor Man, Power Generation Robot, Power Station. Beetle <laughs> Reforestation Robot, Forest Area. And Tide Man, Deep Sea Recovery Robot, Ocean Trench. All right, these all look very interesting. I don't know which one I'm going to choose first. There's actually a couple interesting ones I'm wanting to look into, so I don't know. We'll see what happens next and what uh, the Roll 1D8 dice tells us. So until next time, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later, and stay retro.